all right hello there welcome back to the channel so here today on my baby boombish account and i'm going to show you how to take down hammerman hq30 i've been saving this one uh because essentially i wanted to use it for some an upgrade that i needed use the resources for that and also it gives you right crystals and with um with the mega crack coming in a few hours um having a few crystals and being able to maybe sculpt another maybe a, a guard a, a guardian or a masterpiece of, of a red masterpiece would be really really good so i'm gonna go ahead and take it out right now now this is actually the second time i took this base down now the first time i just did it maybe 20 minutes ago i took it down with heavy suka um the strategy worked i had a lot of losses but it still worked however i got i got disconnected at the end and it didn't took i mean i still have the base right here so i'm going to show you two ways of how to take a uh, mammerman hq30 one is going to be using warriors and the other one is going to be using heavy suka so let's go overview uh, you know let's review what we have in terms of of troops let's go with the heavies first these are level five heavies those are the stats you know with my statues those are my sukas and these are my warriors level two warriors now my boats i have all level nine boats with the exception of one um so for warriors i can hold four warriors on each boat so i have five so that's a total of 20 warriors right yeah 20 warriors uh, for heavies it's gonna be three wa three heavies three heavies so six heavies in total and then six six and six sukas all right now barrage and artillery i use it for the heavy suka attack so we have to take a look 18 18 11 80 and then 20 28 50. now for the heavy suka attack um if you don't have barrage it's going to be a little bit harder to do uh, i'm not going to say it's impossible but if you don't have barrage um it's going to be a little bit harder doing the heavy suka attack so i recommend doing the warrior attack that i'm going to be doing first so remember first is the heavy the warrior attack and then right after the heavy attack uh, or the warrior attack i'm going to i'm going to show you how i took it down using the heavy suka which failed it, i got disconnected so it didn't it didn't took the, the takedown all right so yeah let's uh let's go for it dang okay so here's the plan um I'm going to line all my warriors on this corner. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that flamethrower out, mainly because I it, if, if my warriors head down to that flamethrower, they're going to head into the range of these three things, and I don't want them taking shots right away, right? So I'm prepared to lose four, five, six, six warriors, but, but no more than that. So the plan is going to be line my troops, take on this one with GBE, then take on that flamethrower and then they're gonna naturally gravitate towards all those containers they're gonna walk once they take out uh, maybe this container out then i'm gonna flare them here to the back to where that three is and then go for the hq um shot the rocket launchers and call it good guys so ready for it let's go all right so one two should be enough that guy had uh 20 2300 hp points so two artillery shots uh, were able to take him down landing my warriors you see i have um in terms of gbe i have 34 starting gbe all right so now we're good we're, we're in position the flint is gonna fire i don't expect i don't expect uh how you say it? I don't. I don't expect them to to do a lot of damage. Besides, the warriors heal, heal themselves as as they hit. Every hit hit heals a little bit. All right. So now we lost our first warrior, but it's okay. We're gonna lose the second one soon. All right. So now let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, warriors. Oh, we lost a bunch of them. Let's shock. Let's let's shock those rocket launchers. I'm not gonna heal them because mainly the reason why is they're able to heal themselves. Oh, I missed a shock. All right, I'll shock it now. And down, the down it goes. It could have been a lot cleaner. I could have lost a lot less if I hadn't if I hadn't missed that shock. Um, you see, I still have a lot of GBE left from farming all that stuff. I got a bunch of crystals, which is what I wanted. Hopefully, we're gonna get at least three. Uh, 
we got two and two crystals and three uh, so three two crystals one shard and six fragments hopefully that's going to be enough for us to make a, a a masterpiece guys masterpiece of health um stay tuned for the for the heavy suka takedown don't, don't go away just um just remember you know what happened it's uh i i got disconnected and that's why i was able to do two different attacks all right let's go over the plan so remember two boats of heavies three boats of sukas the plan is going to be to launch two quick succession barrages one on top of the boom cannon here on the left one on the on the right hopefully the oversplash is going to kill one or maybe both of the of the of the boom cannons we're going to land our troops let them get close kill the machine guns once you can see the, bl the blind spot of that rocket launcher is halfway through the rocket launcher or the machine gun so once the heavies pass over that threshold i need to shock i need to shock those um i need to shock those rocket launchers and i'm gonna flare in the blind spot of those two uh, rocket launcher not right not right next to the cannon just a little bit outside so that the heavies take closer position and then protect the sukas from any splash damage from the mortars or, or stuff so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and attack guys all right so let's hope for the best let's hopefully this is gonna work one and two hopefully the orange plus is gonna kill come on come on come on come on Yes, well, it killed one, which is good. So we have now 11 GB to work with. That's going to be plenty. So landing my heavies, wait a few seconds, and then I land my sukas. Now you see, I landed all my sukas in a little cluster because I want them grouped up. All right, remember. There we go. Shock. All right, we lost some sukas. We lost a lot of our sukas there. That's really unfortunate, guys. All right, guys, let's go over the plan. So the idea is to, the, the idea is to send two quick succession barrages, one on this guy, one on the other guy. Um, then that's gonna give me, hopefully the orange patch is gonna kill one or maybe both. It's gonna leave only the machine guns in the front. That's gonna be our anchor point right there. So that way the heavies are not rushing forward and leaving our sukas behind. Um, once the heavies pass over that threshold, I'm gonna shock. I'm gonna shock that. Um, oops. I'm gonna shock the rocket launcher combination. Now, once I destroy the heavies, are gonna approach this guy. I'm gonna destroy it. Hopefully, that's gonna be the. It's gonna be within the the time of our shock, and that's gonna give you enough time to at least destroy at least these two. And we were gonna get another shock, and at that point, I'm gonna flare to the blind spot of this rocket launcher. All right, and then take out the remaining or the stuff. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Remember, two boats of sukas, three boats of, of three boats of sukas, two boats of heavies, and uh, let's go for it. Like I said, two barrages, one and two. Nice. So that means that we have gonna have eight, but with the thing that we end, we're gonna earn eleven. So let's land our heavies one and two let's wait a second and then land all our sukas i want them all in a little cluster packet all right halfway of the threshold is going to be the key we need to target that we need to target that rocket launcher right away Nice, and he went down. That rocket launcher is still gonna have. So now we're gonna shock it. We don't have energy for the flare, but we will have now. Hopefully we will make it before he fires. No, he didn't. He didn't, but 
Still plenty of sukas survive. We still have plenty of sukas alive, so that's what, um, five sukas. That should be enough to finish this HQ. It was a risky move, guys. I, I would have to admit that. It was a very risky move, but at the end it's gonna work because now we're gonna flare here to the back. And this HQ, it's gonna go down. I'm gonna heal my troops, so that's really not needed. And Hammerman HQ 30 goes down using heavy suka. Um yeah, I mean I it's not it's not the most clean or the or the cleanest attempt at uh user uh, uh, taking down this uh, this base but uh, I like it I mean it was a direct approach no lollygagging around or nothing like that hopefully we will be able to take it down yeah yeah we have two minutes and it's more than halfway through let's see let's take it down and let's see what we get awesome down goes down hammerman hq30 using heavy sukas lots of charge lots of fragments lots of uh of crystals which is amazing five victory points six six um fragments three shards and two uh two crystals and one intel which is amazing we ended up losing three heavies and 13 sukas Oh, no. So, yeah. Thank you very much for stopping and solely checking out.